I'm like crying. Liz, first birthday. 666 is not angel number. 666 oh, is a like double number. <laughs> Duncan's nodding. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, guys. I'm Dana. Okay, tell us where you're from. New York. How old are you? 23. Favorite drink? Oh, my God. Alcoholic or non-alcoholic? <laughs> oh. Non-alcoholic. Just in the spirit of today's video. Cold brew. Cold brew or water? She's like a say. black yeah. coffee kind of gal. I'm like that, too, but not during the fall. Yeah. Well, anyways, hi, guys. I'm Kenzie. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I'm kind of delusional tonight, and I'm about to drink so much coffee. I'm going to lose my actual mind. I'm gonna be trying <laughs> y'all's fall drinks. From Starbucks, Duncan, and Smoothie King, and I'm actually going to hand deliver one of y'all's orders. In our Geneva group chat with the Dallas girls. There's addresses on this right now. I just said, hey, who's at work? Who can I drop coffee off to? I'm the coffee fairy, and here we are. So it's gonna be quite the day. Get excited, get pumped. Um, subscribe if you guys are new here. I have been awake for like 15 hours. I'm tired. All right, well, we're gonna start at Starbucks. Oh my God, look at these puppies. Oh, isn't that so cute? Look <laughs> how fits the on Love that. Okay, here we are to order. I feel like the apple would be good hot. I tried it ice the other day and I didn't mix it and it like made me want to die. Yeah. I just couldn't. I have a Monday, cream, cold, extra foam, a tall brown sugar, oat milk, cheese, extra foam, and I just left one another tall ice cream, chai latte, with oat milk, and cookie foam. Forgot that you had lost your voice. And then I just don't, my, I, my initial thing was I didn't want to yell over you and then I realized that that would have <laughs> made more sense. And then it was just too late. Here we this are. This is what happens when you're 23. You don't yeah. bounce back like you should. Okay? I don't bounce back like I once did. And yeah. then, you know, you turn 24. And then, and it's just there you go. This is a nice view of uh, the city. Guys, look at look at where we're at. I feel like we should have pumpkin hats on. One time, Morgan, <laughs> Yates, and I did a drive with me with like Santa hats on. And it's like we still talk about it. it was, it's a regret that we have actually at this point. Here we okay. go. That scares me. We have Rosalie's drink. Oh god, this is giving me Keaton Milk vibes. After cereal. No, this is literally giving me Keaton <laughs> vibes because this is what her coffee looks like when she drinks it. Ask her. Oh my god. Okay, this is a tall iced chai tea latte with oatmeal and pumpkin cream cold foam. Which is interesting because an iced dirty chai doesn't normally look this. No, I don't. Serving very much Keaton Milburn vibes. I actually like iced dirty chai. I'm scared. This used to be my drink, but like they're not normally this white. Yeah, I don't like, know. Like they're normally dark. Like it looks like straight milk. I'm not gonna lie, it's really good. <laughs> and I thought I would hate it because I don't like sugary drinks. Do you wanna try it? It's kind of your nightmare. She told me earlier today she's not drinking coffee anymore, so. Try it, you're gonna be like, this is different. Wow. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's creamy. It's very creamy. I wouldn't be able to get that like every day. And I honestly wouldn't even be able to finish at all because it's no. very sweet. But I actually liked it and it was incredibly creamy. It must be the oat milk that does something there. This one is, oh, whoa. I'm getting an aftertaste of vanilla bean ice cream though. I will say that. Yeah. Have you had Bluebell yet? No. Oh my God, you have to have Bluebell. Do you know what that is? Yeah. It's very, it's a Texas thing. Back in high school, there was like salmonella. Or there was like some sort of like thing that was so really bad for you and Bluebell ice cream and they all got recalled for like a year and you would think that that would have made them stop like that would have made Texans like throw out the Bluebell they're not gonna eat it no yeah. no no they went and they bought it all from the stores oh like it, it was gone like it would literally I'm like crying like it was not okay like they literally like it was literally making people sick <laughs> And they took it all from the grocery stores. Like, you couldn't buy it. It was like there was a whole blue bottle shortage before they could even get rid of it off the shelves. Yeah, it's really something. Texans or something else, guys. Okay, so this is a tall. Oh my god, this is that <laughs> one name. I actually like this drink, but I hate ordering it because of the name. Tall ice brown sugar oat milk espresso blonde. Add pumpkin cream cold foam. In my defense, like that's what that looks like. I basically was just translating another language. Credit or credits due, everyone. It's good. I don't think it's the most pumpkin-y thing. I like how it's not milk, straight up, but it's not like fall to me. These two drink orders were like the only ones that you guys submitted, and I'm not, there was like hundreds of both of them, so they must be like TikTok viral or something. Yeah. Because it's like a specific order. Like, I wouldn't order it. I didn't dislike it. Do you hate it? I don't hate it, but yeah. It's more of like a milkshake, you know? I'm yeah. Like, I can't. But listen. that was just so creamy that it almost didn't taste like coffee. I mean, straight milk. This felt like fall. Like, this, something about it gave me Halloween Town vibes. That 
wasn't fall enough for me. So. I agree. Oh, now we're off to be Starbucks fairies in high school. One year for my birthday, I had a birthday party and I was given like a thousand dollars in Starbucks gift cards. And so I became the Starbucks fairy and I would bring Starbucks to friends every single day at school. And so I'm channeling sophomore year Kenzie in high school and becoming the Starbucks fairy again today. So that's exciting. Godsend. Hi, Hi. nice to meet you. Hi, thank you so much. You're so sweet of for this. Course. Thank you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. How was your day? Good. Good. I was actually going to tell you, I just watched your anxiety video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I just want to give you a hug. And now oh, I can. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. Yeah. Well, oh. I mean, I feel like it's important to be yeah. able to like that on the internet. And so I feel like sometimes oh. we just need to hear like somebody on the other end is receiving it, you know, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's easy to put it out. I don't know. And then not think people are like, they're talking about yeah. you. Yeah, know? yeah. I'm like so nervous. I was like, I'm gonna pee my pants. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, thank you. You smell so good. Really? Oh my god. Um, that was truly a success, guys. The entire time we should have had the look at the lighting. Oh my god. So I made a mistake, but that was a success. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to make that a vlog segment. That was really fun. Definitely want to do that more, but now we're going to Duncan. I'm not a big Duncan girl. Are you a Duncan girl? Okay, I lived in Boston That's for a hot was. sec, yeah. No, Duncan's <laughs> not it. It's really not. I tried multiple times, it's not it. <laughs> I think, to me, like, Duncan's just, like, too sugary somehow. Yeah. Like, there's something about it that just, like... But, like, I'm not gonna say, like, Starbucks is amazing. There is something about Starbucks that's comforting to me. We love sitting in the drive-thru. It's just a mood. It really is. I used to do all my homework there. Okay, so we're going to um, Dunkin' Donuts now. You know how people, like, I mean, I love Taylor Swift, for the record. I'm her number one fan. But you know how people, like, avoid saying bad things about Taylor Swift online because of the Swifties? That's kind of how I feel about like us saying we don't like Duncan right now. We have the Duncan drinks. This is the butter pecan. Do you say pecan or pecan? Or pecan. I think I say pecan. Butter pecan ice latte with almond milk and a pump of vanilla. This actually looks like milk and there's probably no saving this. <gasps> I should have gotten the Charlie drink. I'm a big D'Amelio girl these days. Oh, Did you see the show? Oh, I want to. It was so good. Those girls deserve the world. It was just a very fabulous show. I'm scared. Okay, hear me out. This <laughs> tastes like this tastes like gas station coffee, and I don't mean that as a dig, because I actually weird thing about me, I like gas station coffee. Like if this was hot, I don't know how to describe it. It would be gas station coffee. It's too sweet for me. I don't hate it. Like I wouldn't order it, but I'm also like we're not the right audience because we, we don't. Really aren't. We really yeah. are. We could be doing Duncan a disservice then. But honestly, this tastes like if you were just gonna get like a hazelnut creamer and a gas station coffee, which like I love gas station coffee. So I'm really not a coffee snob. Like I still love. Starbucks. She, Lactose intolerance. She gets a pass. Conveniently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next one is an iced coffee with a pumpkin swirl, regular cream, and shot of espresso. This one looks more like coffee. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> I don't like that. And I'm sorry if this is your order. Like, I thought you were going to say you liked it better than This is too cream, so you can't have this. No, I don't like it. Let me try it again. There you go, guys. I feel like we need They to had to have, like, drinks. made this wrong. That is a big thing, too. Whoever makes your coffee. No, like, I actually think that they made this wrong because, like, there's no way that people love this drink so much. <laughs> and I don't mean that. Like, just, I just, like, I know for a fact. I know in my heart of hearts. like, Massachusetts people to roll up to Texas. <laughs> so, literally, I know for a fact that, like, this was made wrong. Because, like, this is just... It is not good. It, like, there's really no, I don't think there's any arguing that this drink is good either. There you have it. That's I, why there's three Dunkins in Dallas. There's like 72 Starbucks. I like most things, but I don't really like Dunkin' that much, so. Anyways, we're gonna go to Smoothie King now um, to end this day on a healthier note. And we're off. There's drive through Smoothie Kings, and that's the best thing that ever happened to me. We're gonna play uh, Bro Winner by Casey Muscars again, guys. Stream Casey. Hi. Thank you. Oh, well, that's a good sign. Oh. Angel numbers. 666 is not angel numbers. 666 oh, is like shit. a double number. <laughs> no, but it is also. If it's three of the same numbers in general? Yeah. 666. You would have to look it up to see what it is, but. I think it's like death. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna <laughs> Google it. Hold on. What does 666 mean? Isn't that the devil's number? Number of the beast. Oh, in Revelation, in chapter 13, verse 18. I'm not interested to look know more. In, we're gonna pretend like it's an angel number. Look it up in angel number. Angel number 666 is a message from your angels to balance your life between material aspects and home, family, and personal aspects in your life. It's reminding you to focus on spiritual matters. Okay. It says angel number 666. It's not what you think. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> that was not very encouraging. It's only Monday. That's only Monday. God, doesn't it feel like it's Thursday? It really does. Guys, I think the person in front of us actually 
got everything on the menu. I'm interested to see how much they're gonna go out. <laughs> yeah, we watch it all. <laughs> we have to figure out a good Halloween costume. Oh my god, that's next. Should be Casey. Yeah, I should actually. I definitely should be Casey. Yes. Yeah, that's what I should be. It's Halloween just is so I stressful. Halloween. I don't like Halloween either. Unpopular opinion. It's only fun if you've been planning it for like the entire year, the costume. If you just have like a group costume that you've been like dying to do all year. Like there was one year where Taylor and I did like Halloween costumes, but now it's September 13th and I don't even think I've got it. nothing. It just like causes too much drama and I'm like, yeah. I don't care. Imagine like getting invited to the mat and just not going. <laughs> like, can't relate to getting invited or not going. Yeah. I love Smoothie King, actually. That's like a very suburban thing about me. I live for Smoothie King. Hi. Hi. Yep. All right, 660. Why not? How do you guys feel about that? I feel like that's just... Thank you. Thank you. you Thank you. Perfect. Here we are. Okay, this is my first pumpkin smoothie. It definitely like looks a little bit gross. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, I mean, it's good. You think it's just pumpkin? Like banana? No, nothing? No, there's definitely a banana and stuff in here. I think it's just like a pumpkin base or something. Oh, he's sick. I don't like it. Like, I wouldn't order it again, but I don't hate it. But I wouldn't order it again. I, it tastes like something familiar, but I can't think of what it is. There's an aftertaste, yeah. I mean, I like it. It's just not. Like, if I'm going to get a smoothie, I'm going to, like, get my normal Smoothie King order. You I know? agree. It's good for a sip. I will be honest, though. The more I drink it, the more I like it. It's just, like, when I think of smoothies, I don't think of pumpkin. Again, smaller size. Like, yeah. If it and, was, like, a little baby. And that's, like, the. But it is the perfect consistency. Okay, let's rate the drinks from today. Number one being the creamy one from Starbucks. The chai. Number two being the second one from Starbucks, the brown chicken espresso. Number three being the Smoothie King one. <laughs> Number four would be the first Dunkin' one I had. Number five, without a doubt, the last Dunkin' one I take I your word for that because I didn't try them. Yeah. But. But you trust me. I trust you. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to the Dunkin' lovers. We're going to get a lot of hate here. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want us to do this video with like healthy Starbucks drinks or Christmas ones, let me know um, in the comments below. Comment your or favorite coffee order down below and maybe I'll try some out of there. Love you guys so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, Brooke, if you had a bike, I feel oh like that God. would be you. <laughs> <laughs> I would think You'd wear race. the vest. Like the bikers, like they are not stopping. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. They, it's a full on like, but I get it. They're, they're on the move. Got All gas. Numbers. They're guys on the go. Yeah. <laughs>